Hanafi is considered istijrar as a sale contract. Hanafi responds to ambiguity about the sale of non-existent object that sale in case of istijrar is actually of something from which the buyer has completely benefited as we discussed. That Hanafi says that the buyer has already get the benefit from the cup subject matter. It is, it is this benefit that has led the object to a state of being non-existent at the end of the contract period. So, ye us cheez ka benefit lena hi tha us cheez se, jis ne us cheez ko kya bana diya? Ghair mojood kar diya, ke abu cheez khatam ho gai, non-existent ho gai. The fundamental reason for prohibition of a sale of non-existent object is the presence of ghairar. So, as sometimes the seller is unable to provide the object of sale to the buyer due to its non-existent in the first instance, as you said that in the Salam case, etc. But in case of istijrar, however, not only the merchandise existed at the beginning of the contract period, जो गरर की बात हम करते थे नॉन एग्जिस्टेंट में वो वो होता है कि जब चीज इब्तिदा से ही मौजूद नहीं होती भई हम फिर जब उसको बेच देंगे तो उसको हवाले कैसे करेंगे हवाले नहीं कर पाएंगे तो अगला बायर बेचारा उस चीज को इस्तेमाल कैसे करेगा तो उसको तो बेनिफिट ही नहीं मिलेगा तो वो गरर और चीज है तो कहते हैं कि इन केस ऑफ गरर हाउएवर नॉट ओनली द मर्चेंडाइज एग्जिस्टेड एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट पीरियड यहां पर तो टी नॉट के ऊपर तो ये देखें यहां पर टी नॉट के ऊपर तो गुड्स मौजूद था इब्तिदा में बट आल्सो सेलर हैज ऑलरेडी पास्ड द ओनरशिप ऑफ इट टू द बायर और बायर ने उसको देकर उसकी ओनरशिप भी उसकी तरफ पास ऑन कर दी थी कि ये लो भाई चीज तुम इस्तेमाल कर सकते हो नो यू कैन यूज इट द एट द टाइम ऑफ सेलिंग सो दिस पर्टिकुलर इफेक्ट एलिमिनेट्स एनी पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ गरर इन इस्तिजरार सो अकॉर्डिंग टू हनफी ओपिनियन दैट देयर इज नो मोर गरर when the seller handed over goods to the buyer and allow him to use it then there is a no more gharar in istijrar in reply to the doubt of some scholars about the use of merchandise by the buyer without seller's permission hanafi states that the settlement time uh, uh, that at the settlement time when the sale stands valid, the validity of sale will be referred to the time of the sale contract when buyer took permission of merchandise. So it will be considered that buyer has been using something he had already become owner of due to istijrar contract. So look at here. I'm again reading this with this thing that Hanafi states that at the settlement, the validity of sale will be referred. Now look at here. This is a very technical point. The scholar says that this is the TN when the buyer will pay the amount to the seller. Now he will be the buyer will be considered buyer will be considered owner of goods from the beginning of the time. We call it in the law of language that buyer will become owner of commodity abinisho. Abinisho A B I N I T I O. Let me open it in the paint and, and I so the scholar says that now he when as he will pay the amount at TN, he will buyer will be considered. Buyer will become owner of any show. Buyer will become owner of any show. Of any show means that he will be considered now he has paid the price. It means that now he will be considered for the owner of the goods from beginning of the time from t naught he will be considered owner of the goods from the beginning now it will be considered that he has used the asset between these two times two two timelines uh, he used his own asset 
no the objection is no more that he has used the what was not being owned from him اس کا سادہ سے لفظوں میں مطلب یہ ہوا وہ کہتے ہیں جیسے ہی خریدار آخر میں قیمت پے کرے گا تو اس کا مطلب یہ ہوا کہ وہ چیز کا مالک ابتدا سے بن گیا جب وہ چیز کا مالک ابتدا سے بن گیا تو اب اس کے اوپر جو اعتراض کیا جا رہا تھا اس نے ایسی چیز استعمال کی اس ڈیوریشن میں جو اس کی اونرشپ میں نہیں تھی تو آپ کا وہ ابجیکشن ہی ختم ہو جاتا ہے وہ ابجیکشن ہی ختم ہو جاتا ہے تو یہ ابجیکشن جو تھا کہ بھی آپ نے ایسا کیوں کیا اب آگے کی بات سنیے گا وہ بہت دا نیکسٹ پوائنٹ از ویری ویلڈ دیٹ ہنفی وین ہنفی سیز دیٹ دیٹ اٹ ول بی دیٹ ہنفی اسٹیٹس دیٹ ایٹ دا سیٹلمنٹ ٹائم وین دا سیل اسٹینڈ ویلڈ دا ویلڈیٹی آف سیل ول بی ریفرڈ ٹو دا ٹائم آف دا سیل کانٹریکٹ وین بائر ٹوک دا پوزیشن آف دا مرچنٹ ڈائز سو اٹ ول بی کنسیڈر دیٹ دا بائر ہیز بین یوزنگ سم تھنگ ہی ہیڈ آلریڈی بیکم اونر آف ڈیو ٹو دی استدرا کانسیکٹ کانٹریکٹ No. Here, this is the very interesting debate here. Now, the Shafi scholar says that how, how one can be considered owner of the goods of Binisho. This is the thing. That when you say that the sale is going to be executed at the time of year, but you say that he will be considered owner of the commodity from the beginning of the time, how it is possible? As we say that Hanafi scholars think very broad, very broad and very deep, the Hanafis, because this objection was done from the Shafi scholars, the Hanafis countered it. Hanafi says that, Hanafi says that with the, uh, Hanafi scholars compares this situation with another situation in which Ghasab, Ghasib, Ghasib means the oppressor the the person who snatches thing from something jo kisi se koi cheez chheen leta hai ghasib is not allowed to benefit from the object acquired by the way of oppression the person who snatched something he is not allowed to get benefit from the snatched item jisne koi cheez chheeni hai zabardasti kisi se koi chheen ke laya hai to uske liye jaiz nahi hai ki wo chheeni hui cheez ko istemal kare ya usse koi benefit le but if he pays for daman if he pays for the daman it means the price of these things then he becomes the owner of it and it is according to imam shafi it means that hanafi scholars are saying that o oh, imam shafi we take the case of ghasab as you say that for example imam shafi says we take this example here Imam Shafi says that if a person who snatched this from person who snatched a thing from a person on T naught and uh, the at the T N uh, the uh, they settled their accounts because they want to settle and they want to finish their dispute. No, at the time of T N they are going to make they are going to make a deal to finish the a dispute but uh, the person who oppressor snatched thing that was t not so at t n the person has consumed that snatched item snatched thing now the imam shafi says that if the ghasib snatcher oppressor pays the price to the uh, owner of the goods at t n then the ghasib will be considered owner of the asset from beginning of the time so imam shafi we will do it why we will do it imam shafi says that we will do it we will consider him owner of the goods from the beginning to protect him from being sinful from from the sins because if we consider that he was not owner of t not and just he became the owner of the goods at t n then he will be considered sinful for the whole time period between the t not and t n because he used the item that was not owned by him to imam shafi kehte hain ki bhai hum us misal ke taur par ki agar t not ke upar usne cheez chheeni 
ٹی این کے اوپر جا کر جھگڑے کا تصفیہ ہو رہا ہے اور بات یہ طے ہوئی کہ اگر تم میری چیز کی قیمت لوٹا دو تو ہمارا سل ہماری صلح ہو جائے گی تو یہاں پر اگر چھیننے والے نے غاصب نے قیمت کی ادائیگی کر دی مالک کو تو اب امام شافی کہتے ہیں کہ ہم غاصب کو یہ کہیں گے کہ تم چیز کے ابتدا سے ہی مالک تھے جس دن سے تم نے چھینی تھی تو کسی سے نے پوچھا کہ جناب یہ ایسا کیوں کیا جا رہا ہے تو امام شافی کا جواب وہاں پر یہ ہے کہ ہم اس غاصب کو ابتدا سے مالک اس لیے بنانا چاہ رہے ہیں کیونکہ جو غاصب ہے وہ مسلمان ہے اور مسلمان کو ہم نہیں چاہتے کہ ہم اس کو یہ پورا کا پورا ڈیوریشن جو ہے گناہ گار کنسیڈر شمار کروائیں اور وہ اللہ کے غذب کا شکار ہو تو ہم اس کو ابتدا سے ہی مالک بنا دیتے ہیں کیونکہ اب تو قیمت کی ادائیگی کر چکا تو ہم کہیں گے کہ اس نے اگر وہ چیز ابتدا میں درمیان میں استعمال کی ہے تو وہ اصل میں اس کی اپنی چیز تھی اگر اس نے استعمال کر لی لہذا اس کے اوپر کوئی گناہ نہیں ہے کیونکہ اب تو سیٹلمنٹ ہو چکی ہے اس کے اوپر ہنفی اسکالرس کہتے ہیں کہ امام شافی صاحب او شافی جیورسٹ دیٹ ان کیس آف سنیچ ان کیس آف ایکٹ آف غصب دا ایکٹ آف غصب از اٹ سیلف از ناٹ الاؤڈ ان اسلام اٹ از پروہبیٹڈ ان اسلام ان دا ایکٹ آف غصب وچ واز پروہبیٹڈ اسلام which is prohibited in Islam, you allow, you allow the person to become owner ab initio. But this istijrar is say, act of sale, which is permissible in Islam. Then why do you not allow buyer to become owner ab initio? Bhai, aap ek ghasab ka amar, fail, jo najayiz hai, us mein to aap ghasab ke baare mein kehte hai ke wo itada se owner ban sakta hai. جبکہ یہ تو استجرار سیل ہے اور سیل اسلام میں جائز ہے تو ایک جائز عقد کے اندر آپ اس کو اجازت نہیں دے رہے بائر کیونکہ وہ ابتدا سے مالک بنے آپ اس کو ابتدا سے مالک بنا دیتا کہ درمیان میں اگر اس نے جو چیز استعمال کی اس نے اپنی ملکیت میں استعمال کی لیا تو وہ بھی گناہ سے بچ سکے وہ بھی گناہ گار نہ ہو so this is the Hanafi's very strong answer argument the Hanafi scholar says that that you allow in غصب You allow ghasib to become owner ab initio, an act of ghasib, then why you do not allow buyer in case of Isajrar to become owner ab initio? Look at here. But if he pays for the man price of these things, that then he becomes the owner of it and time of ownership is then referred to time of oppression through which he acquired the goods in question. Hanafi's argument is that if a ghasib can become the owner of an unjustly acquired good by paying for its price, then why should it not be case of farist ijrar? Not to forget the seller's permission to use the merchandise by way of ijrar ensures that the buyer is free from any sin. Unlike in case of ghasib whereby the ghasib has also committed a sin, بھئی اگر بائر سیلر نے اس کو کہا کہ یہ لو بھائی تم چیز اس کو استعمال کرو تو بائر تو مالک کی اجازت سے چیز کو استعمال کر رہا تھا جبکہ یہاں غاصب نے چیز چھین کر استعمال کیا اور گناہ کا کام کیا گناہ کے کام کرنے والے کو تو آپ اجازت دیتے ہیں کہ وہ ابتدا سے مالک بن جائے جب اس نے آخر میں آکم سیٹل کیا تو بھئی بائر کو آپ اجازت کیوں نہیں دیتے کہ وہ ابتدا سے مالک بن جائے So that is the reason Hanafi scholar says that, that uh, the at T and buyer will become owner of an issue. Now, there is a, no objection uh, uh, regarding the permissibility of istijrar. So according to Hanafi scholar, sale is executed actually at the time of settlement of accounts at T and. 